The Pacific Spaceport Complex, Alaska PSCA, formerly known as the Kodiak Launch Complex, is a dual-use commercial and military spaceport for sub-orbital and orbital launch vehicles. The facility is owned and operated by the Alaska Aerospace Corporation, a public corporation of the state of Alaska, and is located on Kodiak Island in Alaska. The spaceport opened in 1998 and has supported 17 launches, most of those for the U.S. government. The site was closed for two years following a launch failure that did significant damage to parts of the spaceport. It reopened in August 2016. History Following the incorporation of the Alaska Aerospace Development Corporation in 1991 by the Alaska State Legislature, plans were begun for the spaceport, known during development as the Alaska Orbital Launch Complex. Construction on the site began in January 1998, and the first launch took place in August 1998 from temporary accommodations at the site. After a launch failure in August 2014 damaged the launch tower, payload processing facility, and integrated processing facility, Alaska Aerospace made plans to repair and upgrade the facilities to support larger rockets, but Governor Bill Walker stopped work in December 2014 as part of an order to address a state budget shortfall. Repairs to the facility were funded by state insurance at a cost of $26–29 million. During efforts to repair the facilities, the spaceport was formally renamed to Pacific Spaceport Complex, Alaska, in an announcement made on April 14, 2015. The facility was formally rededicated on August 13, 2016, to celebrate the completion of repairs. In mid 2016, the Alaska Aerospace Corporation signed a multi year contract with the Missile Defense Agency for multiple launches from the PSCA through 2021. The arrangement includes a sole source contract for two flight tests of the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense system. Two private companies, Rocket Lab USA and Vector Space Systems, are considering using the spaceport for commercial launches as early as 2019. Another private company, Eclipse Orbital, is working with the Alaska Aerospace Corporation to prepare for flight operations of their Corona launch vehicle in 2020. Topic: Launch facilities. The Kodiak spaceport has two launch pads with a mission control center that includes 64 workstations with high-speed communications and data links. There is a clean room for preparing satellites for launch, a fully enclosed 17-story tall rocket assembly building and two independent range and telemetry systems. The complex sits on 3,700 acres 15 square kilometers of state-owned land. Launch Pad 1 is designed for orbital launches, while Launch Pad 2 is intended for sub-orbital flights. A third launch pad is planned which would allow the facility to support quick launches of satellites, under 24 hours to launch from Go Ahead. <laughs> <laughs> launch history The first orbital launch from the Kodiak Launch Complex was an Athena I rocket which carried out the Kodiak Star mission for NASA and the Space Test Program, launching Starshine 3, Sapphire, PCSAT, and Picosets on September 30, 2001. Additional sources, Center for Defense Information, Missile Defense Agency.